past lunch. For after tomorrow. And shut the dog up. I'm trying to concentrate. Molly, I said shut up. Go get the ball. I'm not going in there. Molly, go get the ball. Sorry, dude. You're on your own. I thought I'd find you here. I, I know you normally try not to work on this day, but we've got something. It could be the beginning of an outbreak. What kind of outbreak? The plague. I'm not sure if it's bubonic, mnemonic, or septicemic, but it's culture-proven plague, and it's taken down two officers in Baltimore. When's the last time this baby was fed? You wrap this up here, right? Okay. You're gonna be okay, big guy. This lady's gonna take good care of you, huh? All right, that's pretty ugly up there. Make sure the docs have a good look at him. I'm a doctor. May I? Hey, buddy. Skin has poor elasticity. His eyes are sunken. Obvious signs of dehydration. He's malnourished. It's gonna be okay. With the right care. It's good you found him when you did. Doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm Stephen Connor. This is Frank Powell, NIH. Troy Adams. You're here about my sick officers, right? Mm. I was expecting to meet you guys at the hospital. We were told to meet you here because you're about to apprehend the suspect that had contact with the officers. Yeah, the suspect got away. Let's get to the hospital. Yeah. 
Both detectives, Leinberger and Garcia, have experienced acute onset of symptoms, including chills, coughs, and severe headaches. Both have fevers in the 101 to 103 range. Any signs of tachycardia? Yes, rapid and thready. At times, pulse over 100 beats a minute, more in Garcia than Weinberger. Differential progression? Chest x-rays show that both detectives have a rapidly progressing pneumonia with equally enlarged lymph nodes. All classic symptoms. So we're talking the plague. Yeah, it's wicked stuff. It wiped out over a third of the population of Europe in the 14th century. Yeah, but this is Baltimore, 2005. How does this happen? Primarily found on rodents, mice, rats, squirrels. Plague is initially transmitted to humans by the bite of an infected flea. A less common transmission can also occur with close human-to-human -human contact through inhalation of bodily fluids from infected patients. There have also been cases associated with household pets, cats, dogs. I've already alerted hospitals within a 100-mile radius. We'll be notified if anyone with symptoms shows up. My god. They were sick last night, but their skin... They didn't have spots. Those are areas of dead skin. As the plague progresses, patients turn from red to black. This isn't the Middle Ages. You can fix my guys, right? It's too early to tell. Detective Garcia has already begun showing blood specks in his sputum and evidence of early-stage hypotension. He's definitely further along than Detective Leinberger, who seems stronger. Me and Garvin on the force together since the Academy. Chris is just a kid. His wife, Claire, she's out of town. She's flying into BWI today. I'm picking her up. He's so sick he can barely talk. It's the first time. Then you do the talking for him. These people are here to help us. Last week, me and Gar have been pulling double graveyards on stakeout. Most nights I've been crashing alone. My wife's out of town. She's visiting her mom. Last dance before the baby comes. My partner here is a loner. He's, uh, he's too ugly to keep a wife, and he's too mean to get a pet. <laughs> I waste my quality time on YouTube. <laughs> the uh, black guy. Is that from the suspect you were trying to arrest? T-Bone. <laughs> Put the mask back on, hero. Who's T-Bone? T-Bone Lewis. He's a straight punk. Mid-level hustler. Or for a guy named Lawrence Dinkins, a drug traffic who imports large from south of the border. Four nights ago. Me and Garcia spotted T-Bone on the street across from our stakeout. So Garcia went out to ask him if he knew when Dinkins was coming back into town. Knocked Garcia upside the head and ran off. Was this Lewis guy sick? I don't know. It's, it's too dark to tell. How long after that did you start feeling sick? <laughs> Garcia a day. Me one more. You saying T-Bone could have gotten him sick? We check out all the possibilities. We have an APB on Lewis already. As soon as he's spotted, you'll know. Sounds like the stakeout post might be a good hot spot to start on. I agree. Enjoy it. It's a real slice of heaven. Hey, nice. Respectable families trying to make an honest life for themselves here. A dying breed. And once the homies with their baggies full of rock move in, kids with no one to watch after, they get sucked right down into it. Sounds like you lived it. Yeah, I worked by six years. DCPD. Lawrence Dinkins works out of that building. Uses it pretty much as an exchange spot when he brings in a load. About a week ago, we got word he collected some serious money and was on the verge of a big transaction. We set up camp around the clock then. So far, so far he's been a no-show. You guys have more patience than I do. Hey, Connor, check this out. <laughs> Rat droppings everywhere. Trust me, they're well fed. <laughs> well fed? This boy here is as big as a deer. I'll set some traps, see if Bambi and his sisters have fleas. bathroom is spotless. Garcia, it's one of those clean freaks. Can't stand to be around anything dirty. It's a riot watching them in here. Well, in this case, it may have cost him. Are you saying he could have gotten sick in here when he was cleaning? 
And it's possible. We get the rats, we get the answers. Adams, where? Make sure backup's on the way. Lewis was just spotted at a billiard hall on 23rd. If I find him, I'll call. No, no, I'm going with you. If he has the plague, your badge will only get you so far. Thank you for picking me up. I don't think I could have driven from the airport. This must be very difficult. When you're a cop's wife, you always have this fear in the back of your head that when the phone rings, it'll be the call. One that tells you that the man that you love's been shot or worse. You prepare yourself the best you can for that. How do you prepare yourself for this? My guess is you can't. Can I go in and see him? Dr. Durant, this is Clara Leinberger. Can I see my husband? I'm sorry, Mrs. Leinberger, but until we know for sure which type of plague we're dealing with, I don't think it would be safe for you or the baby. Garcia's worse. No. Okay. Come out of me. I got him. What do we have? We've been working on him for a while. Okay. Come on. Come on. Miles, let's go. Start pumping. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Start chest compressions. Compressions. Miles, keep pumping. Let's go. Again. It's no use. It's gone. Let's call it. Forget the first one you lose. 